I can say this is the first Halloween movie of 2023 where I went, Oh, you went there. You went there. Oh my God. You went there. And the worst actor goes to Chase Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon reviewing One Evil Lurks. So what is this about? I'm going to try to say it's a simple premise, but it's like a possessed person is stuck on this land or stuck in this town. And if you, you had to find a cleaner and this cleaner will come and dispose of this possessed person. However, the cleaner was supposed to go to this possessed person. The cleaner dies drastically, and now they move the body. And now, this evil is lurking all over this town. Kids are involved. Pets are involved. Adults are involved. Fucked up shit will happen. And did I like this film? Holy shit, I did. I mean, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. This is one where I was like, didn't even have it on my radar. I didn't even know this movie existed until, you know, you're scrolling. And Wednesday comes along, and you're like, wait a minute. What's this when evil works in Spanish? So it's an Argentinian film. And I'm like, I have no idea what this is. I'm going to go with it, no trailers. And oh my god, I enjoyed this so much. So when I have to talk about the positive, the gore. The gore in here was some of the most surprising, oh shit, moments ever. Like, the first one, you're like, okay, that's disgusting. But something has to do with the goat. Or, uh, yeah, is it a goat? Yes, it's a goat. I was going to say it's a ram, but it's a goat. Something happens in that scene. You're like, oh, shit. And then there's a scene with the dog. You go to Rotten Tomatoes. I think I have it right here, actually. Right here. I'm just going to show it to you. Oh, look at that cute girl with the cute dog. Oh, isn't that so adorable? Yeah. This is what you call fantastic framing and score for this film. And what I mean by that, I hate movies, like horror movies, especially where it's like the score and it's quiet. And you know, in that quiet time, something's about to pop up and you just have people in the audience going, oh shit, oh shit, something's going to happen, something's going to happen. No, this is more of like chaos is in the background and then the framing is behind a dog and a girl in a circle. And then chaos over here, chaos over here. No music that I remember, it's just chaos and yelling and you just know something's going to happen. But your mind doesn't know when. So that is when the framing and the pacing really works because you're just like okay something's happening but when 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 and when it happens is a fucking gut punch of like oh my god how do they fucking do it it's absolutely freaking bonkers and that's not the only oh shit moment there's another oh shit moment where a guy is driving down the road and he sees something another oh shit moment is when there's someone is getting dragged the oh and another oh shit moment is when someone gets hit by a car kind of in the trailer if I put it that way or a thing where someone gets hit by a car and the gore of what they do with the gore in this movie is absolutely fucking bonkers and I haven't seen it before especially just watch just goo coming out of a person's head that's all I could say this is a great terror what I was like scared though no I want to say I was scared it was more startle like oh shit that's a thrill oh shit that's a startle and I loved it because I haven't had that you know, that just awesomeness in quite some time. The only negative I can say for this movie is some of the characters are just fucking stupid. And I'm not saying they're like stupid, like, oh, let's run to the trailer with a bunch of chainsaws instead of the running car. No, this is more of like, yo, you're a stubborn son of a bitch. People, like, if this person comes out and has this fucking astronomical astrophysics machine with scopes, like, literally... I need them to see this. Listen to this person because apparently they've seen it before and they're saying shit you need to listen to. Not this other thing because stubbornness. Stubbornness, what I've learned, will get people killed. And yes, stubbornness got people killed in this movie. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, and there's something at the end where it has an autistic kid. Yeah, this movie goes for it and I'm I'm glad it did. I would say the biggest comparison is Children of the Corn, but not really, because this has to deal with children, but that was kind of a soft movie where I was like, uh, this goes hard as fuck. Hard as fuck. 
This has some Riz. I don't know what the kid, kids say nowadays. What, what does Riz even mean? Anyway, overall, When Evil Works is the best horror movie of 2023, bars none. It kind of reminds me of that Swedish one that came out where it's like, Hear No Evil. That's what it is, Hear No Evil. I fucking hated that movie because it showed people just like, you know, pussies. This one, they they go for it. Oh my god. I'll be thinking about this movie forever. Overall, if you can find this Argentinian film, do it. I'm pretty sure it'll be on Shudder pretty soon. But my god, find it, watch it. You will not be disappointed. Period dot. Here's my score. When Evil Works will receive a 4.5 out of 5 blue food tons. It goes at 90%. Let's we'll see the critics' review scores gave this one. So you have critics a 97% with 37 of them. No audience score fewer than 50. Critic consensus. A hard-hitting horror film whose surface-level frights are just as engaging as its thematic concerns. One Evil Works marks a visually unsettling addition to the possession horror canon. Yeah! Yeah! I got nothing else to say. 9790, Chase the Lock here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things, Futon Toby. You Blue Toons, what a great day. Now I can watch this take tomorrow, week, or month, or year. If not, I'll ever single one of you. Holy shit for brains. Brains. The brains are real.